On August 12, 2022, I along with my friend Mohit Mehta took a flight to one of the dream destination for bird watching and some stunning and breathless view of Ladakh. We took a flight to Leh at 6:55 a.m. On the way, usually we get to see the snow-capped peak, but unfortunately, it was cloudy, so not much visible. But flying over the clouds and clear blue skies and vistas of barren mountains broken only by meandering rivers has attracted many bold travelers. Ladakh or the land of high passes is a barren yet beautiful region located in the North Indian state sharing its east border with Tibet, Lahaul and Spiti to its south and Kashmir Valley to the west. After reaching Leh airport we took our cab to hotel where we met Rajesh, Sheila, Sinad Sonia and Dr Naina Since we are in a high altitude so we have been advised to acclimatize ourselves for first day After resting for almost 8 hours we went to Leh market in evening It was a nice walk in mild cold weather which is much needed for acclimatization The day ended with chit chat with the group members sharing travel itinerary and got to know that we are going to travel almost 1200 km by road in upcoming days on second day we left our hotel by 6 am for che marshes and sindhu ghat we reached at che marshes near the che place che place is 18 km situated on a hill of was built in 1645 as a summer residence for the king of ladakh here the first bird we photographed as eurasian sparrow hawk then couple of common rose finches eurasian magpie and carrion crow this is the only place in india where you can see carrion crow we were able to see four of them After seeing my second lifer from India, Magpie and Karen Crow, we headed towards Sindhu Ghat. Sindhu Ghat comes on the way from Manali entering to Leh. It is close to the Che place and on the way to take some monastery from Leh. There is a beautiful place also called Sindhu Darshan Point. a light walk under the clear blue sky at this place with bird watching nearby will add more charm it introduces us to the old grandness of the indus river here we found eurasian hoopo blue throat lesser white throat which is also called as humes mountain chipchap and my third lifer as common margenser after having our breakfast here we moved towards our next destination the landscape of ladakh a high altitude desert is defined by craggy barren cliffs and plateaus Ladakh is a favorite among adventurous sport enthusiasts offering unique adventures in trekking mountaineering and white water rafting while rafting options are available on both indus and jhanskar river The Janskar course is more difficult and exciting. I did rafting on Indus River on my first travel to Leh. Sangam, the confluence of Indus and Janskar River is so beautiful. 
that we decided to spend some good time here. The place is around 35 km away from Leh town towards Kargil. On the way back to our hotel, we saw a family of chukar partridge. After resting for few hours, we went to Santi Stupa for timeless photography. We set up our cameras for timeless recording and in between, we were enjoying the landscape of Leh and some visible peak like Golp Kangri, Kangri 2, Sukup Kangri, Stoke Kangri and Rumbak Kangri. We also witnessed the beautiful shade of sunset. The result of the time lapse was awesome and we saw how the daylight moving towards mountain. The night view of Santi Stupa was breathtaking. The day ended with 28 species and some majestic view of Leh city. Day 3, we woke up around 5 am as we have to leave our hotel by 6 am for Agam village at Nubra Valley which is 120 km away via South Kulu, Khardungla, North Kulu and then Agam. On the way, we clicked large air picker, Himalayan marmot, Himalayan snowcock and robin ascenter. We reached Khardungla around 7.55 am. Khardungla is 1,700,982 feet from sea level and words 8 motorable pass. The oxygen level was very less here but most scenic view of Sesar Kangri 3, Sesar Kangri 2, Chusuks Kangri, Yamdaka Peak were quite visible. After halt for few minutes, we left for North Kulu and we saw a mountain weasel and hill pigeon. During the breakfast, we noticed Northern Raven and White Wing Restart. On the way to Agam, I got my fourth lifer of the trip as Brown Ascenter. We also cross Sayok rivers which comes from Siachen Glacier. We stopped at an intersection point where the one road goes towards Nubra via Kalasar and another one towards Agam which we took. We reached Agam Villa, a very beautiful property built last year. Wooden cottages were neat and clean with apricot trees all around. Eurasian magpie were very freely wandering here while eating apricots. After lunch and evening tea, we started our evening session for bird watching. We saw a Plasis girl. and a wall creeper. With a glimpse of white broad tit wobbler, we found another lifer as a Eurasian eagle owl. Our day ended with 34 species and some beautiful mammals of Ladakh. Day 4, the first half we planned for exploring different route in Nubra Valley for tit wobblers and golden eagle. The first bird we photographed as tickle sleeve wobblers who were vocal with few common rose finches. Soon after we saw our mega lifer of the trip as wide broad tit wobbler. 
bird was so far but we enjoyed while looking this beauty through our bino later we saw red fronted siren and two golden eagle while sitting high on their nest the golden eagle is one of the largest bird of the prey which can grow to the length of 3 feet with a wingspan of 6 to 7 feet a bird generally found in northern hemisphere but can also found at mountainous area canyon lands riverside cliffs bluffs and anywhere the rugged terrain creates frequent updrafts they typically avoid developed areas and large stretch of forest after spending some good time with the eagle we went back to agam villa to say goodbye and headed towards sakti via varila pass at 10:30 am Agam to Sakti is around 80 kilometers and in between we will be witnessing another pass The scenic beauties the rugged terrains the majestic high altitude desert mountain barren cliffs and floating river and in between finding birds were added beauty to our journey chukar patres roa binne center and hornlark were quite common bird here all of sudden we spot another lifer as a little owl a small owl with a flat top hat a plump compact body and a short tail also known as all of athena the owl is widespread across europe asia and northern africa we also photograph white wing red star bearded vulture at this point then we headed towards varila pass before the pass We saw one red fox was heading towards us. The most widely distributed carnivore in the world, the red fox is extremely variable in body color and size. The Himalayan fox is the common fox of the Himalayas. After spending some good time with the fox, we reached to Varila Pass. Varila is the high mountain pass and highest pass in the Nubra Valley of Ladakh and 17425 feet above the sea level. And after having our photo session here, we moved towards Sakti village. The beauty of Ladakh leaves you breathless and the valley view with the clear blue sky on the way were awesome. Our eyes were also attentive towards birds. After driving for another 30 minutes we halt to scan the area for partridges but we were having no luck We got some good picture of chukar partridge With less bird activity in the area we headed towards Sakti village Another beautiful village provide privilege access to the place far removed from the noise and clutter of the modern world the fresh and organic vegetable from the field 
were going to be our lavish dinner. The fruitful day ended with 28 birds and few good mammals. 